Hey everyone, today we're going to solve a physics problem, and here's a question. So for this question, we can use the dimension analysis to find out. So for a pi times r1 plus r2 to h squared plus r2 minus r1 squared to the 1 half power. So we can convert the r1, r2 and h to the dimensions which will be pi times the length plus length parentheses over the length square plus length minus length square parentheses to the one half and simplify this we'll get just pi times length times the length square plus the length square it will still be a length square to the one half and then we simplify more we'll get just a pi length square which will be the area of a surface because it's length square so it will be the area so part A will actually describes the curved area, which will be described F. Okay, and let's do part B. So part B is 2 pi r1 plus r2. So convert this to dimensions, we will just get 2 pi times length plus length and we will just get 2 pi times length which would just give us a circumference and so this would describe the total circumference of the flat circular surface so it will be described D so part C pi h pi h r1 squared plus r1 r2 plus r2 squared Oh, over 3 so convert this to dimension we'll have pi h will be l parenthesis l squared plus l squared plus l squared over 3 so we basically will have pi l cube over 3 and because it's l cube so Will this will describe it as a volume, so it will be described the volume, which will be the E, and this is the answer.